Hello everybody, I'm Pierre Faruja from Malta and today I am going to do a gear review. I am by the sea and maybe you will hear some boats passing by, but it's part of the environment. Eh? When seeing those backpacking videos, you see a lot the people using the chair zero. But when you go to try one, especially when you are a little bit old, you are a little bit heavy and you are not flexible anymore, the reality hits you that it's not for you because it's too low to go to sit on it and it's too low to sit out of it, to sit up. So finally, Helinox came to our aid with the Helinox Chair Zero L. The main difference is that it has uh, can support more weight and uh, it has at least 10 centimeters higher off the ground. Eh? So now let's do a review what's good, what's bad, what's the cost and everything about the Chair Zero L. This is a new release eh, from Helinox. Let's start with some specs and mostly I will be comparing the Chair Zero L with the Chair Zero because that's most important for many of you. First of all, this is the pack size of the Chair Zero L and this is compared to a 0.8 liter water bottle from Decathlon. This weighs in at 640 grams as opposed to 490 grams of the Chair Zero. Another important aspect is this can support 145 kilos and the Chair Zero can support 120 kilos. Now let me show you how to unpack the chair and how to uh, assemble everything, which is quite easy. First of all, it comes in this stuff sack. And comes in two parts. The aluminium part, which is the frame and the seat. To assemble the Helenox chair zeros like the other Helenox, you just snap them in place. It's very easy. Like this. The legs always go down like this. And then you have these like grommets which you insert in the seat. Eh? Another important thing is you have this side up so you know the orientation of the seat. Eh? So first we put the back, the high part, like this. And we fix. And like this we have the chair zero in. Now let's explore one of the most important features of the Helena Chair Zero L as opposed to the Chair Zero. First of all, the height from here to the ground is 34 centimeters as opposed to the Chair Zero which is 23 nearly centimeters. So to make you just a comparison, this is Chair Zero L and this is the height of this one is exactly the height of the Chair Zero. So this 10 centimeters here can make a huge difference. But at the end, let's try it out. And like this, I can show you that a heavy guy like me, which uh, I am not young anymore and I'm not flexible anymore, how comfortable it is to sit down and sit up. Eh? So this goes out of the way. I adjust because I'm at a little at an angle. As you can see, it's very easy to sit down. The height is perfect. I don't have any pressure points from the from the bottom with the legs. My my uh, back is pretty good support there. And then, if I need to sit up, which is not a pretty thing to see, but I will show you anyway. It's relatively easy, yeah? and I am not a small guy. Yeah? Another very important thing about the Halinox, they give you five year warranty, which is a plus. Uh, the craftsmanship is 10 out of 10, everywhere you see, look. Another good thing is how the poles are made, the structure 
is patented by Helenox. Normally, if you see other chairs, this, right, this is other way around, so this runs like this, not like this. And at the end, I can say I'm very happy with it. Let's recap this video, and I mentioned the good and the bad. First of all, the build quality is 10 out of 10, both the ripstop, the plastic, and the aluminum poles. The pack size is very good compared to the size. At the end, the most important feature of the L is the height of the chair. That uh, it's useless. I have a 0.5 kilo chair that I cannot use. I cannot sit that low. It's impossible for me. Uh, since I'm a big guy, even the size of the chair is very comfortable for me. It doesn't have any pressure points. Even with my butt, I can sit in very, very comfortably. The pack support is good as well. Uh, and now let's go to some bet. The bad thing is the price. Because in Europe, this chair costs around 150 euros. When we compare this chair to a similar chair from Decathlon, the Decathlon costs 40 euros. But as always, in the back, uh, packing community, you pay for size and for weight. So for then it's up to you to consider, is it worth it to get 400, 500 grams less to pay so much more, nearly 110 euros more. Eh? So it's not little. Uh, another minus thing, but uh, I think this goes all with all the chairs is, uh, the legs, when you sit down on very soft ground, they can dig in and you end up on the floor it's because they are like uh, pointed metals that with your pressure they will dig up but at the end i give this chair an 8 out of 10 and i'm glad that uh, i chose this chair may i remind you this is a 2023 version because it's now it came out uh, dl didn't uh, exist before hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel and my uh, instagram which is pierre farrugia malta until next time Bye-bye, yeah?